Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my Petivore subscription service. Um, so if you watched my last Petivore video, you saw that I did a review of the May products. I know I'm a little bit behind the May products as well as the June and July unboxings because I had put the June box away and completely forgot about it in the basket. Um, so we're gonna be reviewing the June and July products and unboxing my August box, which arrived a few days ago. So excited to do this. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer video since I'm reviewing two boxes and unboxing one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. So I have everything from the two boxes right in here. And I believe the June box was bright eyed and fresh faced. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close the back so you guys can kind of see. I always keep these little cards. I just love them because you know, they're a great um, reference point. Like I can go back and be like, where, what was that thing? You know, like if you run out of it or something like that, I can always kind of go back and look for it. Um, and I like it because it also gives you like their full time, the full size prices and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start at the top and kind of work my way down and across. So the theme for this month was bright eyed and fresh faced. And there were four products in the box. And the first one is the Fior Minerals Organic Eyeliner. So you could see the container. Oops, sorry. And it's a brown. It's a little bit darker than like a sable brown and they said there was like shimmer in it Let's see if i can show you guys there's not a whole lot of shimmer to it i don't necessarily want a lot of shimmer in my eyeliner um, if you've watched previous videos you've heard me say that i'm not a huge fan of pencil eyeliners either um, i tend to uh, kind of go towards the gel or the liquid, more so the gel, because I feel like the liquid lately I get like right in the middle. I'm just not, my eyes are really watery and it's just not working. I don't know if maybe as I get older, I should be sticking to like a pencil and sticking with a pencil, I would definitely go with a brown just cause I feel like it'll look a little bit more natural on me. Um, this was a nice formula. It was very creamy putting it on. I hate like a dry formula that, that you're like, and trust me, I've received those in the past. Not necessarily from Petit Four, but um, so this was nice. I've, I've used it a couple of times. It's great for every day. I don't usually wear eyeliner every day. If I were to wear eyeliner every day, it would definitely be more of like a brown pencil. Um, I tend to only put like the gel or the liquid if I'm gonna go somewhere special or I'm going out or something like that. So this was nice. Um, you know, nothing woo, crazy. Uh, but it was definitely a nice eyeliner and it retails for $18. The next thing on here is the Jacques Organics Green Smoothie Scrub and Mask. Um, and this is it right here. Let's see the label. They have a really cute logo. And what I really like about this brand is that they're like very local to me, maybe about 15 minutes away. And you can see the formula in there. And if you read the directions, I'm trying to find the lid, here we go. Uh, this actually um, can be used as a scrub, a face mask, or a hair mask. I have not used it as a hair mask. I have used it as just a regular face mask with either water as the carrier or rosehip oil as the carrier. I really, really like it with the rosehip oil because I feel like I'm you know, doing double duty on that one. Um, and then afterwards, I feel like as I'm taking it off, I'm kind of scrubbing it off anyway. So using it kind of like a scrub. So this was really, really nice. It gives you instructions. This is not the full size. The full size retails for $17.50, which is still a great, um, uh, it's a great price for like a larger size of this product. And you can like totally smell just like the earthiness to it. There's definitely, there is spearmint oil in here. Um, so you, you do get that mintiness, but it's just very, very refreshing. Like once you have it on it, you're just like, oh, this and a glass of wine for the next 10, 15 minutes and you're good to go. Um, the next thing on here is the Meow Meow Tweet Skincare, which is this right here. 
Um, I put this in my shower um, to wash my face in the shower because I, you know, want to give everything a fair shot. This was not um, a hit for me. I felt like it left a little bit of like a, a, a film or like a residue on my face. I just didn't feel like it was completely washing off. So I'm, I'm not going to give up on it. I still have quite a bit of product left, but it just was not... I don't know it was weird like it leaves like a weird film on your face like it's leaving something behind and you can feel that it's leaving something behind but not in a good way so instructions were apply seven to eight pumps to dry face wet hands and massage the face to create a light milk rinse with warm water or a washcloth so i was rinsing with warm water um i feel like if you rinse with a washcloth it's Unless it's a wet washcloth, you're still going to have something left behind. I don't like feeling like there's anything left behind on my face. but uh, So mm, this was not the greatest for me. And the last thing in the June box was the 100% Pure Facial Cleansing Brush. Put this in the shower. I initially started using it with this. Um, as soon as I noticed kind of like this leaving a film, I kind of separated the two because I didn't want to get residue on my brushes or on my bristles, excuse me. So I started using this with another um, face wash that I keep on my, um, like by my sink. I have like a, sorry, I have like a little ledge right next to my sink. And that's the Pacifica Seafoam cleanser. I'm not sure. It's a great, great cleanser. I love it. But, um, so this was it, you know, it's a good little brush. It's not super stiff. You know, it does, um, have a little bit of, of, um, you know, texture to it. So it, it, it's, you're brushing and it's not so soft that it's not doing anything, but it's not so hard that it's like, you know, damaging your skin. So you definitely feel it exfoliating. You're playing with my brush. Definitely feel it exfoliating and getting the job done. So you definitely feel just a little bit cleaner once you're using the brush. And that was everything in the July, I'm sorry, the June Bright Eyed and Fresh Faced Petit Vore box. The July box was Cruelty Free Summer and was co-curated with Thoughtfully Magazine. If you have not checked out Thoughtfully Magazine, I would definitely check it out. You can do digital copy that you order from them, or you can get um, a hard copy, and I know that I can pick mine up at my local Whole Foods. Um, I know there's other, I believe there's other um, like places you can actually pick it up, but since I know I can get it at Whole Foods, that's pretty much, I don't look anywhere else. And the first thing on here, just show you the back of the card, got four products in here is the Isla nail lacquer in the color Doolish. and this was a really really perfect color for the summer it was kind of like a bright orangey tangerine coral I had it on for quite a bit I believe I actually have it on in the uh, last Petit Vore video so if you want to see what it looks like on, just go ahead and watch that video and you'll see what that color looks like. Um, great formula. I have no complaints. It's a five free. has very pretty colors. And the full size is, seven, oh, this is a full size. So it retails for $17. So right there, you're already getting, you know, the Petit Vore box is $15. So you're already getting your money's worth with your Petit Vore box with just this one product. So I definitely liked it and I will definitely be checking out um, I think I am actually following them on Instagram they have really pretty colors and I, you know every time they have a new color they will always post it so this is really really pretty the next thing on here is the Lux de Mer skincare and this was a total win for me I loved it it's almost it, it, it doesn't even remind me of a cleanser. It reminds me of a toner. And the reason I say this is because you can see it's pretty liquidy, almost like a toner. Skincare with no secrets, gentle face cleanser, organic rose water, organic vegetable glycerin, and organic essential oils. So I actually wrote about this in a blog post that I did about what to pack for the Florida Keys. 
you don't um, know, I do live in South Florida. We have some friends of ours and their kids that own a uh, like a small home in the Keys, like a vacation home. They invited us to go down there and I said, perfect, I'm gonna do a blog post on what to pack. And this was the facial cleanser um, that I was using in the evenings. And it is so incredibly refreshing. Like I would put it on and it just kind of melted away all the salt and all like the sunscreen and everything from the day. And I mean, you're in the beach, we're in the Florida Keys, we're getting on the boat, there's wind, there's salt in the air, there's the ocean water, there's all these great things. Um, and this just helped my skin reset every night. Um, it was just really, really nice, really, really nice um, formula. Uh, you, don't, you don't even feel like you have to take it off but it does say to rinse with cool water. So it says pour a small amount onto a cotton pad and wipe the face clean, rinse with cool water. So that's exactly what I did. But honestly, you it's so refreshing. You don't even feel like you have to take it off. But I did because I followed the directions. So great product. Um, I really liked um, like just the, the branding for the, the actual company. And I'm going to be checking out some of their other uh, products as well. And this retails, hello, $9.75. I believe this may be a full size, but I mean, I could, you could see I still have quite a bit and I've used it quite a bit. So there's, it's, it's gonna last you a long time. The third thing in here is also a huge hit for me. It's the Nubian Heritage Mango Butter infused with shea oil and vitamin C. Oh my God. People, I wish you had smell-o-vision because this stuff, so you can see it has that solidity to it that a shea butter has. As soon as you start warming it up, it just melts completely, like just melts. Um, and it, it just smells so good. It's like mango candy is what it smells like. It really, really smells like mango candy. And I did check them out on their website. They have a ton of other um, scents or formulas. I would highly recommend checking them out. I mean, their ingredient list is like 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, 7 things to put this baby together. So I would definitely... Um, try this out. I also included this in my what to pack for the Florida Keys post um, just because again at night uh, if you are spending the week anywhere near the ocean you have the, the salt water drying you out you've got the wind drying you out you've got the, the sun drying you out and at the end of the night I just want to be able to kind of reset everything the Lux de Mer was helping me reset my face this just helps reset everything else. So you take a good shower, kind of scrub all the sunscreen off and all the, um, the salt from the salt water, or if you were in the pool, the bleach and the chlorine and all that stuff. And you just put this all over and in the morning you just feel like a new person. So I definitely, definitely recommend this. And the last item that was in my July, oh, and this retails for 13 bucks. The last thing in here is the Routine Deodor Cream, which retails for $4. And you can see, it's like a little pink bird on there. This is in the scent Sexy Sadie. And I did um, check out their site and they have several different scents. It smells pretty close to every single natural deodorant I've ever tried, um, which is probably why it's like their original scent. And if you can see, kind of like a paste and I don't believe that it has baking soda in it it's more of a clay based formula um, and, I, and I'm not gonna take anything away from this brand I thought in terms of like a natural deodorant it was one of the better natural deodorants that I've tried um, but as I've gotten older I feel like and you know after having kids just kind of everything has changed. My hormonal balance, pH, blah, 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 is just different. And something like this just does not last the entire day for me. So by early afternoon, I'm already not so fresh. 
in the armpit area. Uh, unfortunately, it was one of the better ones, like I said, that I've tried. I've tried other ones that have completely irritated my underarms. I've tried other ones that make no difference and I'm already smelling, you know, mid-morning. Um, this one, I would say, lasted me to early afternoon, say 3 o'clock. Um, but I still have, you know, the rest of the day to contend with. Um, so I will continue my search. If you know of any really, really powerful natural deodorants, please comment below. I am more than willing to try it. I do use a clinical strength deodorant right now, um, which is not the healthiest, but it's the only thing that keeps me from not smelling the entire day. So this was one of the better ones that I've tried. Like I said, I did not get irritated. It lasted to, you know, that early... Um, afternoon but it just I need something that's gonna last me all day so this was not it um, great in terms of natural deodorants but just I have not found a natural deodorant that works with my body odor I guess you could say all right so that is everything from the June box and the July box and if you let me know in the comments, like I said, about any natural deodorants, that would be great. And just let me know what you thought about your June or July boxes. That would be excellent as well. I am going to go ahead and jump right into my August box. So I did um, open it already just to kind of get packaging out of the way. But I have not tried anything in this box. And the theme for the box is You're Glowing. And look, it matches my nail polish, not on purpose. This is a Zoya, a Zoya color, I'm not quite sure. It's like a cornflower blue. So you're glowing, fabulous vegan beauty awaits. That's the card. And there's the back. And I'm going to start at the top. And the first one on here is the Quara, I'm going to say. Or Juara, Quara, I believe it's Quara clove flower and turmeric serum and the full size is $62 and so we're getting two uh, little disposable containers I like that they at least are giving us two because I hate when you only get one and you're like what the heck that's not gonna really work um, you get like maybe one or two uses out of something like that. So this would, you know, maybe give us about a week's worth of product. Um, and Beauty Secrets from Bali. Boosts radiance and firmness, reduces appearance of fine lines. Apply to cleanse the skin morning and evening. Follow with moisturizer. So it's cool, oil-free, fragrance-free. I will definitely be giving these baby a try. The next thing in here is the Modern Minerals Tea Rose Finishing Glow, which is this baby right here. can barely see like the, the actual logo on the package because this is actually quite a small sample. And it's almost, I guess, like a, a finishing powder. Translucent with a delicate pink hue and just a hint of subtle shimmer to help minimize Fine lines or flaws, incredibly lightweight, provides an overall soft focus finish and glow. Use alone or over foundation. So, let's see. I already took off the little plastic. It had one of those little peel-off things. So, definitely not overpowering at all. It's a pretty color. There is a slight, very, very slight and subtle sheen to it. So I could definitely see this being something that could easily be used all over the face on its own or over a, um, like a BB cream, CC cream or foundation. I don't tend to use foundation during the day. <clears throat> I really only use foundation if it's a special occasion. If it's like every day I'm using like a a BB cream, a CC cream, or like a tinted moisturizer. And this could easily go over that. And it doesn't provide like a super shimmery finish. I wouldn't even call it shimmery. I would definitely say sheen. I got some all over me. Um, and it's not even strong enough that you can say like, you know how you have sometimes little powders like this and you can say, oh, I could use it as a highlighter. 
no, you wouldn't, it, there's not even enough sheen in here to, to uh, warrant this being a highlighter. So I could definitely see this being a nice um, finishing powder, which is basically what it is. It's a finishing glow and it's in a, a cute color. It's like a, like a very, very light pinky peach. So I will definitely be giving this baby a try. The next thing on here is the Michelle or My Shell uh, Dermaceuticals Fruit Enzyme Scrub. So it comes in the actual box. I am going to assume that this is a full size, and I'm sorry, the this is not a full size on the the T Rose Finishing Glow. Uh, I'm assuming this is not a full size. The full size retails for 20 bucks, which is not bad. This baby is a full size and retails for $18. So right away, it's $18. My box was $15. This is a full size. I'm already getting the value of my Petit Bore box. And let's see. Here is the container itself. I like that it can stand on its own. Um, and then I don't have to be constantly like the product will on its own kind of come down. <sighs> Smells good. I cannot pinpoint what it smells like, but it smells good. And it is cruelty free, vegan free, gluten free and recyclable. So excited to give this baby a try. I love scrubs, so I usually scrub my face in the shower, so I will go ahead and put this in my shower. And I see two more things in here. Sorry about that, my dogs were barking, so I wasn't sure if there was somebody at the door. So the last thing in my box is the, and I, I want to say I'm probably pronouncing this right, the Yaruk or Yaroke. Um, feed your shine hair serum. I do not think this is a full size. It quite possibly could be, but I don't think it is. And the full size retails for $27. So it's basically like a shine serum for the hair. Just putting it on. <laughs> Sorry, my dogs are like right here. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It smells weird. I don't even know. It doesn't even... Oh, it's got cedar in it. Maybe that's what I'm smelling. It's got cedar. It's got sage. It's got some citrus. And my dog star is like licking me to death down here. Um, so this is cool. I usually take a hair serum and I'll like put it on my ends to kind of get some shine and I have, my ends are like kind of straggly so I'll put it in there. And they also threw in for our curly haired Petit Bore subscribers a sample of the Yaroke or Yaroc Feed Your Curls Defining Cream. So this is good um, for those of you that do have the naturally curly hair. Sometimes I do, um, and my daughter does the same thing. We'll sleep with braids to kind of get a little bit of a, of a wave going. So maybe it would help to define that as well. And that is everything in my August Petit Vore box. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of your Petit Vore box. I am dying to hear what you think. And... Um, what maybe your favorite products from some previous Petit Bore boxes were. And then also don't forget, if you know of any really good natural deodorants, please, please, please put that in the comments because I am definitely willing to give it a shot. And as always, stay beautiful and cruelty free. I need to let my dogs out because if not, his bladder is probably going to burst. So have a beautiful day. Bye.